I can't explain why people love trains. Uh, I've loved them ever since I was a kid. I, I got my first one when I was 18 months old. And if you look at the children here at the show, they just love to sit and watch trains and would love to get their hands on them, of course. Uh, but electric trains just fascinate me. Well, there are a lot of different ways to do the, the hobby. There are people at this show who are historians. They don't have models. They're just interested in the history. And some of them may have artifacts. Uh, they may have museum pieces. There are people here who are parts of museums. Then there are people here who are collectors. They like a certain design or a certain style and they collect models that reflect that. They don't have a layout, they just have collections. And then there are people here who love running trains and they don't care if they're 100% accurate or not. It's just the fun of modeling them. And then you have some folks like me who are rivet counters, they say, and we want our Santa Fe cars to look like real Santa Fe cars and uh, to be period correct as well as looking like the prototype. Most people that are interested in trains have been interested for most of their lifetime. So a lot of the baby boomer and older folks have been coming here for many years. It is nice to see that they're now bringing their grandkids and there is some interest in, you know, by the younger people because that's a concern with most railroad historical societies, museums, uh, model railroad clubs is that if you look around the room, most of us are pretty gray-headed and getting older. It seems to have kind of jumped the generation. The, uh, the people that are now in their 20s and 30s aren't that interested, but it seems to be making a bit of a comeback uh, with the younger people. So we'll see how it works long term. What people like to model is frequently related to their own personal experience. I model my childhood, and so that determines what goes on my railroad. There are people 30 years older than I am who model their childhood. So it's 30 years later than what I model, but it's their childhood. And then there are people who like to be futuristic and uh, they model what they think the future will be. Some model the current days, including all the graffiti that you see on, on freight cars these days. So the, the interest is quite varied, uh, depending on the interest of a particular model. We've seen a lot of changes in the hobby brought about by technology. So the technology today allows so much more to be done with model trains, sound, lights, various control systems that uh, you can work in wireless ways. Manufacturers are not producing one car, for instance, and painting it for every railroad but they're producing a car that is specific for a, a specific railroad and time. And that is possible because of CAD technology and uh, production technology today. So there's just a lot of changes to make it a, a more fun and more railroad specific hobby.